The latest on the growing number of mysterious deaths and hospitalizations linked to vaping. Health officials now say at least five people have died from vaping related illnesses and the CDC is issuing a serious warning have to vape, don't do it right now. It's an urgent warning from health officials across the country. The CDC now advising Americans to stop vaping or using e-cigarettes while they investigate. Officials confirming they're now examining a major outbreak of more than 450 people in 33 states with mysterious lung illnesses. The number of vaping-related deaths rising to at least five. Vaping is the only common factor in these injuries to date. In California, the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health says it's studying the country's first known death tied to vaping. We join with the Centers for Disease Control to advise people to stop vaping now. Also acknowledging there are 12 other known cases of pulmonary illnesses related to vaping in the county. The government says that while many of the patients, but not all, reported recent use of THC containing products, some reported using both THC and nicotine. They're also investigating whether the illnesses may be related to specific devices, other ingredients, possible contaminants, or more than one of the above. Nobody's for sure what's in these products or what they're putting into their bodies or how it might affect their health. This morning, 24-year-old J.D. Hernandez is hooked up to a breathing machine fighting for his life. His doctors tell his family that his trouble started when he began vaping six months ago. It's very hurtful to see your child in so much pain and not be able to help them. That in just six months. Now, the American Vaping Association is now releasing a statement responding to the new warning, saying the CDC is playing politics with people's health by not issuing clear and specific warnings about avoiding vaping illegal marijuana oil products. Every day it is becoming more clear that these illnesses and deaths are being caused by THC-containing street vapes not store-bought nicotine vaping products. We should point out that contradicts what a lot of the health officials are saying. So let's bring in ABC's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton. It's so good to have you here Thanks, on this Liz. important and alarming story. Let's talk about the five reported deaths first. What do we know in terms of similarities and what don't we know? Well, that's the key. There's still a lot of questions here, but let's go through the numbers right now. There are five attributable deaths. Two appear to have involved THC in the past. One occurred in someone with underlying lung disease. Another one occurred in someone with other chronic medical conditions. And when you talk about numbers, you have to consider numerator and denominator. Millions and millions of people are using e-cigs or vaping. Right now, there are 450 possible illness associated cases. So again, still very uncommon, but no doubt concerning. And we're seeing the spike recently right. too. Um, but the challenge here is the variety of products that we're seeing. Some patients are using products off the street, some right. are using brand names, some with THC, some with nicotine. How do health officials even begin to move forward to investigate? So let me take you through the medical detective work with. First, you have to distinguish between association and cause of effect and cause and effect. We're trying to put those dots together right now. And then you have to go through the who, what, where, when, why, and how. We have to see what the lung washings from those patients look like. Right now, federal, state, local health officials' radars are up. The CDC and the FDA are continuing to investigate. A lot of work to be done. Yep. Dr. Ashton, thank you as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.